Hidden Structures, an exploration of cyclic and mirrored structures. Table of Contents. In what follows, I provide the most extensive analysis to date of the properties and relationships among cyclic and mirrored structures, drawing inspiration from information theory, group theory, combinatorics, and probability. Setting content aside, however, my primary motivation in designing these materials is to provide undergraduate students with an educational framework for studying mathematical forms and structure-preserving mappings, while potentially making an original contribution to a larger effort that has borne fruit in the mathematical sciences and in various client disciplines. Beyond drawing inspiration from principles of information theory, group theory, combinatorics, and probability, I should acknowledge the individuals who inspired me to pursue the line of reasoning that resulted in this work. Percy Diaconis, Professor of Statistics and Mathematics at Stanford University. Ron L. Graham, Professor of Mathematics at the University of California, San Diego. Colum Mukahi. Professor of Mathematics at Spelman College. Arthur T. Benjamin, Professor of Mathematics at Harvey Mudd College. These materials are intended to provide students in mathematics education or in the mathematical sciences with an experiential environment for posing, testing, and proving conjectures with ample opportunity to leverage the power of contemporary computing. Among other qualities, to become a mathematician is to acquire the spirit of an explorer and adventurer, drinking in the excitement of new discoveries and vistas. With this perspective in mind, I submit that the ideas and explorations presented in the coming pages hold tremendous potential to benefit students by bolstering their confidence through guided mathematical inquiry, strengthening their powers of inductive and deductive reasoning, developing their proficiency and testing the validity of their ideas, cultivating their ingenuity and formulating original mathematical strategies, widening their view of mathematics far beyond rote textbook problems. Furthermore, these materials and related works offer students in the mathematical sciences with vast resources for senior projects that draw upon an interdisciplinary core of ideas, concepts, and principles from information theory, group theory, combinatorics, and probability. Nevertheless, the principal purpose of this publication is to provide a venue for developing and energizing the minds of students in mathematics education or in the mathematical sciences. It is the quality of students thinking, their powers of analysis and synthesis, and their excitement for mathematical inquiry and application that I aim to improve, expand, and ignite. No single definition of mathematics would satisfy every practitioner. Mathematics is the study of patterns, or the study of axiomatic systems, or fill in the blank. 
But there is at least one definition that is as compelling and captivating as a treasure hunt. Mathematics is the art and science of perceiving and representing hidden structures and relationships. Some of the most intriguing among these are cyclic and mirrored structures, which in approximate form pervade physical, chemical, and biological systems. They lie at the heart of the wondrous variety and complexity we observe all around us and within us. Who can witness the beautiful symmetry and periodicity of the arrangements of water molecules and ice crystals and not be moved by the experience? Yet the apparent simplicity of such structures often belies the difficulty of developing an intuition for their inner workings. Computer models can help us analyze the larger structural features and connections that are readily within the reach of human scrutiny, but there is likely much that evades us. Despite the computational power we wield, after all, computer analysis is only as effective as the ideas driving the code. Acquiring an intuition for these structures is greatly enhanced by the use of physical models that can be handled and manipulated. These physical models need to not only be manageable enough to modify in real time, but also sufficiently rich and versatile to enable us, ideally, to faithfully represent the structures and relationships we seek to understand. Many physical models, however, are too unwieldy to redesign on the fly. Of all the physical models that can be used in the study of cyclic and mirrored structures, an inexpensive set of ordinary playing cards is remarkably well suited for the task. The use of a standard deck of playing cards is a fast and efficient way to represent and reconfigure cyclic and mirrored structures, allowing conjectures to be quickly formed, tested, corrected, refined, or discarded. The dichotomous division of the cards into distinct colors, red and black, not only aid the mind in comparing and contrasting different structures, but it also sharpens the perception of nuances that would otherwise be easily overlooked. The splitting of each of these into two additional categories, hearts and diamonds, and clubs and spades, allows even finer points of structural differences to be expressed. Needless to say, dichotomous divisions or bifurcations in the natural world are ubiquitous. Even the electronic and computer revolution is based on two mutually exclusive states of on or off, and the infinite number of ways these states can be concatenated and then expressed as sequences of zeros and ones. There is yet another important dichotomous property of each playing card. It's spatial orientation. When lying flat on a surface as either face up or face down, these two possible states extend the reach of symbolic representations while paradoxically enabling the compression of these representations. Quite fortuitously, the prime number of distinct card values where jack, 
queen and king are accounted as 11, 12, and 13, respectively, means that all of the wonderful field properties of the integers modulo 13 are available to us. Indeed, significant portions of group theory, graph theory, combinatorics, and probability can be effectively explored using a standard deck of cards. Finally, there are a host of other characteristics such as the virtually undetectable property of one-way cards, which are intrinsically directional, that can facilitate the design of more complex models by a small change in perspective. Indeed, the ability to alter one's perspective and look at something from different points of view lies at the heart of true understanding. On the lighter side, people typically respond with surprise and delight when they are told that there are more permutations, ordered arrangements, of 52 playing cards than there are atoms in the Milky Way galaxy. Amazingly, if we combine one red back deck with one blue back deck, there will be 104 factorial permutations of these 104 distinguishable cards. This quantity far exceeds the number of particles, protons, neutrons, neutrinos, and electrons in the observable universe which is estimated to be 10 to the 80th. This means that with these two decks of playing cards, which easily fit in one hand, we can assign a unique permutation to every single particle in the observable universe with many permutations left over. Indeed, the number 104 factorial which is approximately equal to 1.03 times 10 to the 166th power is large enough that we can assign a unique permutation of the 104 cards to every single particle in 10 to the 86th comparable universes to our own. This number of comparable universes is a million times larger than the number of particles in our own observable universe. And all of this from a couple of decks of playing cards. For members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, the use of standard playing cards can be a sensitive topic. Feelings regarding this issue appear to be highly correlated with the age of the individual and the culture in which he or she was raised. For those who feel uncomfortable using standard playing cards, please rest assured that there are several perfectly adequate alternatives that are described in detail. For those who were raised in homes where standard playing cards were just one of many sets of cards for card games, for example, Rook, Old Maid, Face Tam, Go Fish, Speed, Five Crowns, Wacky Six, Settlers of Catan, and many others, then feel free to skip to the next section. If you are comfortable using a non-standard deck of cards, there are many available that do not contain the traditional face cards. Three such decks of cards are depicted at the top of the next page. If after exploring these non-standard decks, you feel uncomfortable using them, then please read the descriptions of four alternatives 
that consist of cards from card games that bear little to no resemblance to standard playing cards. Hopefully, among these various options, you can find one that works well for you. The next page displays a roadmap of the places we will go and the things we will see. This roadmap has never been seen before it was created for this publication. It is, to date, the most comprehensive description of the core relationships among cyclic and mirrored structures. Initially, the complexity of the roadmap may dishearten you, but you need not visit every location on the map or master the navigation of every connecting road in order to have rewarding experiences. Moreover, the entire journey will consist of small forays, day trips, into the vast unknown. These day trips will include one or more points of interest and activities that will impart practical skills that can be put to use right away that you can use to explore the terrain on your own and discover unseen vistas. In fact, it is very likely that you will become so intrigued with the sights and sounds of a particular day trip that you'll choose to spend many, many days exploring your surroundings. Furthermore, since we will be using a deck of cards as our primary equipment, you will be able to share many of your discoveries with others. By using the principles you learn, you will be able to design eye-popping mathematical effects that will be both powerful and engaging. Yet, as with any successful journey, preparation is key. Our preparation will take us into the heart of information theory, where we will acquire powerful tools for analyzing cyclic and mirrored structures. More specifically, the concept of information entropy provides us with a rigorous definition of structure itself. And the notion of surprisal taps into and refines our intuition for interpreting probabilistic outcomes.